but I want to theme today uh, is show with the, the concept that was advertised, which is the idea of what do you do at the end of a call with someone where there's chemistry, uh, they're interested. How do you end that call without them dropping off and you having to chase them? It's always kind of an awkward moment. So there's a couple of things you can do. Um, obviously, you're not going to try and close them per se, but you want to keep them going with you. But if they get off your calendar, then you're kind of in trouble because you're forced to chase them. So here's a phrase you can do. You can say at the end of your call to really gauge where they're at, which will then give you permission to go to a next step, which is to hopefully schedule them for a next step with you. And here's the phrase. It goes like this. You've had the meeting with them. All is well. They seem like a good fit. And they're happy with you and you're happy with them. At the end, you're going to say this. You're going to say, where would you like to go from here? And that creates space to allow them to process in the back of their mind what they feel comfortable doing with you next. And hopefully they'll say to you, well, I'm interested in working with you or talking to you. Now, if they say something to the effect of, well, I need to think about it or um, now it's not a good time or something like that, then you can say this. You can say, no problem. Always say no problem. Would you be open? That's the bridging phrase. Would you be open? to us circling back on our calendars, scheduling a time right now to circle back again, say two weeks from now, we can catch up. Uh, you may have some more questions for me. I may have more questions for you. And here's my favorite word of all. We can brainstorm some new ideas for you as well and to see where you're at. How does that sound to you, Mike? That's a hard offer to resist. There's no pressure. The languaging is carefully chosen to give them enough space to realize you're here to help them think things, these through. And uh, the folks who've actually implemented this are getting amazing results. They're all getting booked appointments for a second meeting from the first by that simple languaging. So hopefully it helps everybody who's either on the podcast, listen to this call right now or watching live uh, to use this as a tip to keep your prospects on the calendar every step of the way.